one shark seems more interested in the bait than the others. Sharks are leery. She's got a long um, scratch horizontal on her body, right where the gray and the white come together. Like a long scar. And she's all head and not much body. She's very skinny. Here it comes again. Definitely the most interested, though. Their new system of selection can help them avoid sharks that appear sick, weak, or immature. That thing's got a, an acoustic tag in it. My bait's in a tough spot to get, okay, get it hooked right now. Yeah, you guys gotta pull that bait out. Gonna eat the boat. We're telling we're pulling the bait. Hey, what do they want us to do? Pull it out and, and do what? They just don't want it in the water? Is there a, a reason why we're pulling the bait? Or is it? Here's the smaller female, and actually, if you guys can avoid baiting her, I think we should leave, not try to catch that one. If Brandon can get the pole cam on that fish, Nicole might be able to pull out the book. Brandon hands Nicole his video clip so she can check her database to try to identify this shark and see what, if anything, they know about it. So I want to take a look and see if I can identify him right away. Over the years, Nicole and Dr. Domeyer have assembled an ID base of nearly 100 great whites. I am the keeper of all photo ID pictures. I look through every photo that comes in, and I keep track of each shark as it comes and goes from Guadalupe Island. Nicole can identify individual sharks, mainly by their color patterns, which are as unique as fingerprints. Incredibly, the shark in the video matches the very first white shark entered into the log. So this shark is Chica. She's uh, shark number one in our photo ID book. She's been sighted at Guadalupe Island in 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007. Right underneath you. That's the female. So that was definitely Chica. Chica? She does not look like a reproductively healthy female. Domeyer sees no scientific reasons to land this shark. He wants only healthy, mature great whites to help advance his breeding ground theory.